Now that we have our topo, I am now looking at our site plan. And what we want to do is we want to identify our property line. So again, you can go to your massing and site, hit property line, and we want to create by sketching. And just kind of zoom in here, click one edge, and just retrace the survey. And if we scaled it right, it should be pretty darn close. You know, all the radius and things like that. I'm not going to be perfect, but it'll be close enough. Especially because we're not building all the way down here. But that's pretty close. I'm going to say yes. And then now I have my property line. So if I go to my first floor finish, I'll have my bounds. If I wanted to see my topo, it's there. And I'm ready to start my floor plan. A couple of things. You guys should have already downloaded the full Condoc set for Careful. And it's a PDF file, so it kind of looks like this. And um, it doesn't really matter where you locate your house in your particular project, but you know, be mindful that it's about 143 and some change feet away from their front yard property line to the most rear part of the deck. So, you know, if you're 143 feet or 144 feet, I'm really not going to care, but it just kind of gives you a reference on where you can start your kind of floor plan. And of course, you guys are going to be looking at the floor plan for all the dimensions um, so that you guys can recreate this particular project couple of things to be mindful of. I noticed that here on the floor plan, we set this first floor finish elevation to be 818 above sea level. So let's go ahead and fix that in our project. So again, the best view to do that is in this elevation. And right now it's showing zero because I'm showing it off of my project base point. So I'm going to first go back and take it to my 00 sea level, which is a survey point. And so that's 807. So what I'm going to do, again, this is locked. So that so if I move this, that moves along with it. I'll click that and I'll put 818 as my first floor level. And that makes sense because as they drive in from the street, the garage will be about at this level and the, and the first level will be in level with the garage. Now I want to move that back to the project base point. But you notice that it's showing 10 feet because my project base point is here. So I also want to move my project base point up to 880. Click that, unpin it, and change that to 880. Ah, shoot. Unpin it to 818, and that moves, and then pin it back so it doesn't move. And that shows me. All right, so. That's really, really important so that you understand where all your levels are and go back to your first floor plan. I would tell you to create a kind of a, a reference plane using this corner like this and then create another reference point plane um, offsetting that 100 in, but I'm just going to use 144 feet. So in a sense, this is where my deck's going to start, which is kind of on the first floor this line right here somewhere here and you know the left and right i wouldn't worry too much about it but let's see if we can get any information from the site plan here um a whole lot a 10 foot setback to this uh to this corner here uh, that's probably the shortest and i think it gets wider because this property line expands out so what I'm going to do is uh, take this point here, roughly. If your house isn't located exactly where where the floor where the plan show, it, it doesn't really matter for for you guys as long as you're within the setback. So I am going to draw another reference plane ten feet away, and your other corner of the house is somewhere here. Okay. So I will kind of start off with that and then kind of use this as a guide for starting out your floor plans, guys. First floor and second floor, and we'll see you guys in the next demo.